Ah, uh, how do I explain this? This YouTube channel has seen a lot of content ideations from lifestyle, photo, videos, personal finance, a bit of weddings, and now we're going to make travel content. I'm making this video to explain how I got this internship because I think there's something for you to learn because the process I did went through, it's always one level harder than it should be. And this is a story of how I landed a dream job, which is to make videos at the same time travel. So I hope you enjoy watching. Last week of June, I was scrolling through Instagram stories and I saw this post from Zar. It's a link about the travel intern looking for content creators from the Philippines. And I clicked on it and it landed me on their application page. The first things I noticed was a deadline of application and it was on July 3rd. That gives me a week left before the deadline of application. Obviously, the requirements are a valid passport which I don't have at the time because my passport is expired. And then a laptop. I do have a laptop but that's not what I used to edit my videos. And then here's the main thing that they need. Uh, you only need to submit two videos first. One is a one minute application video introducing yourself and the other is a portfolio video. But here's my problem. Most of my portfolio videos are prenup videos, food videos, real estate videos. I don't have any travel video, so I have to make one at the same time. So luckily, I was able to submit my application on July 1st. That gives me two days before the deadline. After I submitted my application, I did book myself an appointment for my passport renewal. It was a bit complicated because it's already expired for two years. Uh, yeah, it expired during the start of the pandemic. So I have to call DFA to clarify stuffs. Luckily, they pick up fast. Kasi po nagtanong ako regarding sa simple renewal po ng passport. And I could do simple renewal, which makes the process more simple. Okay, here's my major dilemma. You know how hard it is to get a DFA appointment slot, right? Because all DFA slot appointments are so full. So I was booking this first day of July and the earliest that I could got is July 29th. It would take 12 to 15 working days for you to get your passport from the date of your appointment, meaning I'll get my passport between August 16th to 19th. At that time, I'm not really sure if I'll get in, so I'll just book it, like whatever. That's what I'm saying to myself, but deep inside myself, I know that I wanted to get in. It's just a coping mechanism. Then comes 10th of July. This is a day that shortlisted applicants will be contacted, and this is what I saw on their website. If I'm being very honest with myself when I saw that post, I, I asked myself, if there's so many applicants, will I be able to get in? Is my work good enough? Then comes 14th of July. I was waiting all day. Then comes 6 p.m. Most offices closes at 6 p.m. and I still haven't received anything. And I told myself, it is what it is. You shoot your shot, you did your best. It's just, you know, kind of sad because I thought I wasn't able to get in. So I just try to continue what I normally do at night. Then comes 8 p.m. There's a notice I received from the travel intern. It was a long message and my notification bar couldn't show the whole message. But it ends with, thank you for your application. And when I read that, I got really nervous because it could end two ways. First is, thank you for your application. Unfortunately, you're not part of the shortlist. And the other one is, thank you for your application. You are part of the shortlist. Luckily for me, it was the latter. I got shortlisted. Then we proceed on scheduling for the interview. I asked for July 21st, 11 a.m. and we both agreed. After we scheduled the interview, I quickly rushed on checking in DFA's website to check if I could get an earlier appointment. And looking at all DFA offices here in Metro Manila, they're fully booked. So for this to really work out, I really need to go out of my way. So I canceled my existing appointment on the 29th because you are not allowed to book a new one if you have a pending appointment. I have to spend twice for this and booking an appointment is not cheap. It costs 1,250 pesos per appointment. So I ended up booking myself in Lipa City, Batangas, which is 3 hours away from where I live. Uh, I got it scheduled on the 18th, which gives me a chance to get my passport between August 3 to August 8. Okay, today is July 18th. I'm on my way to DFA, Salipa City, Batangas. I know, it's so far and it doesn't make sense. 
But if this video is made published, it means I made it. Come stay 18, on my way to Lipasiti, Batangas for my appointment. And then my wisdom tooth hurts really bad. I just have to endure the pain through my appointment. I thought it was just a one-time thing, but through the week, there are pockets of times that it hurts. Enduring pain is very tiring. Then came the interview. It was moved from the 21st to the 22nd. Luckily for me, my tooth didn't hurt during the interview. There are parts of the interview that I didn't do really well, but for the majority, I did actually great. So I'm not 100% confident that I'll get in, but I knew to myself that I had a chance. Then comes Monday, 25th of July. I received a message asking if I could start working on August 1st. That was a Monday and I said yes. And I immediately received a congratulatory message that I got in for the internship. So after that, I immediately visited a dentist and get myself checked. 25th of July, Monday, I had to get my mouth x-ray. July 29th, Friday, I was able to get my passport. I had to call and do emails to get this faster. At the same day, I got a new laptop. Saturday, I had my surgery. Even though you have anesthesia, it still is painful. And I wish not to have it again. Hopefully, that's the last. Monday, I started working. I'm not sure if they noticed, but I couldn't speak properly at the time because my jaw still hurts. What I wanted to end this video with is that when there's a great opportunity in front of you, grab it. You'll never be fully prepared for it. It's very rare to see or to have an opportunity where everything is perfect and all you have to do is say yes. There will always be something challenging along the way and you'll just have to figure it out. When we were starting a t-shirt printing business in college, I was really scared when our first drop of shirt came in and it looks really bad. But we just managed through revisions. When I started my sales career, at first I was very bad at talking to people. But as I gained experience, I become better at talking to people. When I first made my YouTube video, I was very awful. I was very awkward. And it's really hard to see yourself looking bad in public. But you just have to make better videos next. I'll be working as an intern videographer slash editor for the travel intern for the rest of the year. So you'll probably be seeing more of me or the video projects that I'll be doing in their socials. So might as well follow or subscribe to their social media platforms. So for the meantime, most of the videos that I'll be uploading here are meant to supplement the videos that I'll be doing there. It's not part of our contract. This channel is still mine. It's just a personal decision that I made. For the people who are here for the journey, I welcome you to come along the next chapter. I couldn't wait to share to you guys the idea that we're working out the video ideas are really insane I'm just really glad to be part of it. There is a big video project that we will do in September here in the Philippines and you might be a part of it. So I highly recommend you guys to check out the Travel Intern Social from Facebook, IG, TikTok, YouTube because the announcement will probably be there. So if you're a fan of travel, just I would just say to you that be on the lookout. I'll try to keep uploading videos here but I won't promise. That's all I have for now. I do hope you guys enjoy watching this video and I do hope now we could make a great travel community here in the Philippines. And I do also hope now you could be a part of it. That's it. Bye!